music. <laughs> wow. <laughs> get some I feel like we should be selling something now. Wow. Uh, A43, Red <laughs> Shot, Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. Uh, we're back. Design trends for 29. It's like we just walked into a design show with Carlos Rare. They got all the trends here. And sometimes when I say trends, I don't want people to feel overwhelmed. Like, oh, I got to redecorate or redo my whole house. You don't. It's just about knowing the trends, having fun with them, feeling what is your style and authentic to you, and then bringing that into your home. So I'm going to show you some of my faves and how to do it. Power Pastels Power is, pastels is where we are starting. And like I said, this started with Jay-Z and Beyonce, I think, in those suits when they did the world tour. Um, so this is different. Millennial Pink has been in for a while. The difference of the Power Pastel is it's stronger. It's more grown up. It's more saturated. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And you're going to see that in, like, furniture, yeah. um, a lot in, like, couches and chairs and things. But I say just, like, baby step. There we go. So we got uh, some Whoa, pink chairs. Yeah. I'm not messing around. <laughs> that does look like the Jay-Z Beyonce that video. That is. And another thing with that, you can see the furniture's all rounded. So that rounded, sort of paneled furniture is really on trend as well. But if that's too much for you, I totally get that. So just bring it in in small doses with, like, pillows, vases. That's about with it. Yeah. Okay, let's show the next photo of the tile so you get the overall feel of the impact and then how you can bring it into your sure. space. Sure. Okay, this I am so excited about. Okay, vertical subway tile. So subway tile has been around and for design-wise forever. We love it. It's cheap. It's cheerful. But now we are putting it vertically. And this is really life-changing, and I will tell you why. <laughs> the reason is, and I've got an example kind of here too, is that if you do something like this, for one, it's not too expensive to do. Subway tile is still inexpensive. It will make your ceilings appear larger. So if you did this behind like a bathroom, like all the way up. That it, eight foot ceiling now looks like nine, foot, nine and a half. Yes, maybe. that's right. That's right. And then the trick is to do something fun with the grout. So you do some contrasting with the grout. So I think this is like a really easy change, easy-ish change. If someone was like, oh, I want to do something, update my bathroom or my backsplash in my kitchen vertical subway tile. Okay. Very so, excited. so the tile on the wall is one option. The other, which you're about to see in this photo, is the, uh, the the wallpaper print. Wallpaper. Okay, wallpaper is here. It's not going anywhere, right? But the trend now is bold floral wallpaper and animals on wallpaper, which I think you'll like that. that feel... This is like what I wear with my dress shirt, so yes, I feel I do. you will like that. So that. you can see like something like this. Look at this from a local wallpaper company. We've got the color coral, which is the color of the year. We've got the bird. Thor, you dig this one? You like that? You know it. Thor's okay, in. I'll leave this here for him. Yeah. <laughs> ah. So think of doing this powder room, bedroom. If this is too much for you, you know what I do sometimes? Get like a frame, like an Ikea frame, take out the matting, and put the wallpaper in there and oh. do a series of it. And that looks really fun and it, it'll get a way to step your toe into the trend. And you're working a lot with the sustainability issue, which is the next example oh, Totally. To um, sustainability. I love, you know, it's funny to say this as a trend, but actually when I do design, I am finding that more and more people are asking, like, where are things from? Who makes it? Um, last year, I did a home where the homeowners were all, they were vegan. And mm. so we did the whole house vegan. And it was really eye-opening for me because it's like, you know what? They knew everything and where it came from and where it was made and how it was made. And wow. so... I think that's like less a trend, but something good to talk about that I think we're going to go more in that direction. Okay. Yeah. And we're going green too, yeah? Okay, that word, biophilia, what does it mean? <laughs> go, go, going green? <laughs> going green, all right. So plants have been around, of course, but here, look at this. This is like living in the forest. I mean, this is the trend where people are so disconnected now we're on our phones. We want to be connected to nature. Um, more is more with it. So my tip here is you may not want to live in the forest like that. There's a lot of faux, great faux plants. Like the, the, the big box stores have a lot of good faux. So I say mix real with faux. But it does make you feel good. Bring yeah. in some greens, you'll feel really good. Look at this. Okay, yeah. and, and buttery brass to close this out. The medal of 2019, buttery brass. Now, here it is. We've seen shiny brass and we've seen matted brass. And this is the calm, the baby of them, which is the buttery brass. <laughs> this is their offspring in 2019. The offspring. And this is one here to stay. I think you'll see it in like kitchens and handles and poles. Again, you can bring in as small accessories, but it's really warm. It's buttery. It's rich. It's this is a metal here to stay. Awesome. Said here. Carla Dreyer has <laughs> spoken. Yes. Good luck to you in 2019. Feel free to send us some photos and share. And CarlaDreyerDesign.com is the website for more inspiration. Thanks, Carla. Thank you.